More now on our top story. Police say four people have been found dead inside a home in Oshawa after reports of gunshots. CP24's Cam Woolley is joining us now live from the scene. Cam, what are you learning this morning? Horrible story, Lindsay. Aaron's going to show you around while I talk. It was about 20 minutes after one here in this uh, uh, Oshawa neighborhood. Neighbors reported hearing multiple gunshots and screaming coming uh, from a home here. Police quickly responded. Durham officers uh, from uh, uniform patrol to tactical officers. Neighbors say they got here very, very quickly. In fact, so quickly as tactical officers approached, they could hear gunshots and some screams coming from the home. They made a dynamic entry into the home. There they found uh, four deceased persons and one injured persons. Among the deceased were two young people, we're told could be early teens, were waiting on the coroner to arrive to uh, confirm ages. Uh, but they do tell me that they believe the suspect is amongst the deceased. Uh, a adult female was rushed to hospital and uh, she is being treated as we speak. Neighbors that uh, live in the area say that a couple lives there, uh, a family with uh, children. They say they've lived there for uh, well over a decade. They are apparently uh, local teachers according to uh, uh, several neighbors and they have children, four children ranging in age from uh, around middle or junior school up to uh, university age. Now, Aaron's going to show you a white pickup truck in front. It's a, uh, a Ford. It's uh, licensed in uh, Western Canada, uh, I believe Manitoba. It is part of the investigation. Police have confirmed. Uh, we don't know uh, to what extent it is. But uh, again, uh, neighbors say also say they've never seen the police here before. There's never been any trouble here before. And that vehicle is also uh, had not been seen in the area as well. The investigation continues and we'll let you know as it unfolds. Back to you. Cam, what's unusual about um, the reporting and what you were just telling us was that, that officers arrived so quickly that they in fact heard gunshots themselves. You talk about them taking a dynamic entry into the home. What do you mean by that? Well, they basically uh, went in fast. You know, sometimes the police will wait, but in this case, they because they could hear screaming, they knew somebody was in danger, uh, they they entered uh, quite quickly. Now, uh, neighbors tell me that this whole thing unfolded over maybe five or, or, or ten minutes. So the uh, police were actually close by uh, and uh, were able to, to hear some of this. But when officers, and I was an officer for 30 years, if uh, in, in the old days you might wait, and after Columbine they stopped doing that. Uh, and now, if there's any chance that somebody's in danger, uh, the officers are to enter and uh, deal with it. In this case, they actually had the TAC officers anyway, and that's their uh, usual job. So they were able to do that while the uh, uniform officers actually uh, made sure neighbors were safe. Some of them, curious neighbors, had come out upon hearing gunshots, and they, uh, we spoke to some of them where the police asked them to, to go inside and uh, basically take cover till it was stabilized. Uh, homicide detectives are here as we speak. There's forensics officers in those white, clean suits have just gone inside, Lindsay, about 15 minutes ago or so. And uh, we're still waiting on the coroner, who's, uh, after the coroner's done with this, we'll uh, expect to get ages as well. Back to you. Terribly tragic this morning. CP24's Cam Willey reporting live from Oshawa. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.